Hello guys, welcome to Coursera program. Today, I'm going to show you the week 9 program 3, 4 and 5 uh, as of the problem solving through programming in C. So the week 9 program 3 is basically this binary search, uh, binary search, sorry. So what we have to do here is we have to search a given number at a given position and uh, we have to display whether we have found uh, that given number at that given position and also display that position we have found the number so for this you have to use the binary search algorithm uh, for this uh, we need three variables that is the first last and the middle the first variable i have initialized with zero that is the first index number uh, first index of the array the last is the last index and the middle is the middle index uh, and uh, is the middle uh, middle is the uh, half of the uh, the entire array left uh, after that after initializing of the, each of the three variables then uh, I've run a loop that is a while loop uh, it will run uh, from until the first that is the first variable so in having the first index number is less than equals last it will run until it uh, this condition is false that is until the first uh, index number is greater than last so until uh, first is less than last this while loop will execute so if it is true since first is 0 and the last is n minus 1 so it is true it will go inside this uh, if condition if array of uh, middle uh, that is the number uh, in the middle of the array is less than search so Basically, on the elements uh, in the binary search is sorted. So, if the middle element uh, in the array is uh, less than the search element, uh, that is, the search number uh, is bigger than the elements. Uh, bigger. The that is the search the number we are searching for. Uh, is greater than the element in the middle of the array then what we will do is just because since the search number is greater than the uh, number in the middle so we do not require the first half of the array length so we will just remove the first half for that we need a first is equal to middle plus one so first first was zero so now I am doing middle plus one so now first will be so if the entire length is ten the first was zero so now middle is was uh, will be 5 of that is half of 10 and now the first will be 6 so that's that and if the middle element is equal to the search element then the, we'll just print out that the number has already been found at this location as it's been stated here and one more statement if a uh, condition that is if uh, the search element is less than the middle element then we don't require the elements in the later half that is the last part we don't require that so we'll just delete that last one so first last was uh, uh, again so if the first element uh, the entire length if it was 10 first was 0 the middle would be 9 but now since the search element is less than the middle element so now we'll just delete uh, the the later part so we will just do a middle minus 1 so if the length is 10 the middle will be the middle will be like 5 and now the last element will be 6 so after each of this uh, we will just update the middle first plus uh, so if each of this condition will just update what a middle element will be so that is first plus last equals uh, is uh, divided by 2 the half of it and again uh, it will go if the condition is true then it will again come inside and again it will go to a series of conditions if condition if middle is the because now we have updated the middle element so in middle so first middle was 5 now it will be a new number uh, again it will do the check now and so if uh, again it will go on and do the check so uh, at last, uh, doing all the checks, so if it is found, then it will uh, print the location and the number it has been searched. So, here's the code. Uh, let's just compile and run. Uh, 
So yes, we have passed the test and let's just submit it. Uh, now for the program four. So program four is uh, just reversing an array and printing it. For this, uh, I've used uh, extra array, a B array B with hundred elements. Uh, that is the size of the array. A temp variable to store temporarily store the values of the original array, and two other variables which uh, the scope of which will go through the uh, through the uh, as we go through the program. So in BK that is a backup stands for backup. We are storing uh, n minus one. We'll know what will what is used uh, first. First, I'm trying to store the reversed array that is the array is n minus 1 that is the length. So, if the length is 10, so n minus 1 is 9 because the index runs from 0 to from starts from 0. So, what I'm doing here is uh, I've initialized i equals 0. So, in b of i that is in the first index, I'm storing the last uh, first index that is in the uh, first index containing the last number of array of the uh, input array that is when input from has already been done here so in the last I'm storing in the first sorry I'm the first index I'm storing the last variable so what I'm here in this while I'm doing is that I'm just storing the reversed array uh, in array b and then I'm incrementing i plus plus so bk will reduce and i will increase uh, to be bk here in this while condition so in B array, I've stored the reverse array. So at the uh, in the last part, they'll be printing the array C that is original array in which elements are stored. So now what I have to do is I have to is I have to store the uh, original uh, this uh, reverse array in the original array. So we have to do a swapping thing, uh, swapping the elements. It's already been said in the question. For this, I'm just running a loop from zero to the length of the array, and I'm storing the See, since we have made a copy of this array, I'm storing this variable, uh, this uh, the numbers uh, which are already in the array uh, in a temporary variable, and in this array, in that uh, now uh, in the C position that is now C equals zero, I'm storing the reverse array that is B. So again, uh, there's a swapping done to this. Uh, sorry, this is not the swapping. This is I'm just storing the reverse array B. In the original array, uh, that is the array. Uh, then I'm just printing the reverse array elements. Uh, or do print and that's it. So let's just compile. And yeah, we pass and let's just submit it. The third element, uh, the, sorry, the fifth program and the final program of week nine uh, is to merge two sorted arrays. So, uh, in this test case, it's been given uh, that, or rather, all of the arrays are already sorted. So, we'll just check uh, what we have to do. Uh, we have just to create, we have just to uh, have to create a merge function. It's already been said. Uh, the no return time will be avoided. So just called in the main function and we'll just pass it. Uh, we'll just pass the variables. Uh, it'll take four uh, parameters uh, or arguments, whatever you call them. Uh, int a, uh, that is an array. The two arrays, that is because we have passed the two sorted arrays. Uh, a third sorted, uh, that is this this one, uh, this array sorted, in which we store the merged sorted arrays and the length uh, or the size of the two arrays which are the sorted arrays so for this uh, i'm using uh, three uh, three variables i g k for this so first i'm running a loop using this i uh, that is from m plus n because we want to store the two arrays of size n and size n so first we're checking if j is less than m and k is less than n if this condition is true, we just uh, if this condition is true, then it's going to the next 
uh, into this uh, next if condition if a of j is less than b of k if it is true then uh, in this sorted that is the new uh, array I'll just store the first sorted array a of j uh, and if the condition is false then I'll store uh, sort I'll just store the second one uh, in this sorted array uh, and the following k plus plus the increments that's all needed and i plus plus for the increment of the index of the sorted array that is the array in which we are storing the sorted sorted uh, arrays uh, again if the j is equals m if this condition is that is this is a different else condition uh, if this condition is the first condition which j is less than m and k is less than n uh, in that we had a nesting of if and else then this else if if this condition is true then another for loop uh, to to store the indexes that is we had done that is i less than m plus n if j j was zero first so if j is equals uh, zero is equal to m so if the first array size is zero then we are storing the second error because second array in the sorted array because the first array is not there and uh, then we are storing the this sort of, uh, second array in this sorted array and again an else condition the otherwise if the k variable is 0 or the n is, is equal to 0 that is the size of the n vari uh, the size is 0 of the second array then we are storing the first array in the sort then increment and then we just because it's being called we're just uh, printing this sorted array as required. So we'll just compile and run this one. Oh, so there's some issue. Yes. Oh, sorry. There seems to be a problem here. Ah, uh, it's this. I don't know where it came from. Sorry, I think it should be fine right now. And still shows. Oh my god. And yeah, so with this uh, small issue we had there. So we passed the tests and now we just run it. Uh, yes. So we have passed uh, the test. So submit it. So we have done the program uh, three, four, and five of week nine. Thank you for watching Postera programming. So keep uh, watching our videos. Follow our channel Postera programming tutorials uh, on YouTube. Uh, if you like this video, please like and share and subscribe. Uh, also, do visit our uh, Coursera website for more programming tutorials uh, at one place. Uh, thank you.